Hi folks, today I'm on my way to Lakeland, Florida to participate in the 2019 Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. Come along and be part of this aviation experience. This is Wayne Whitley. I'm a retired computer design engineer and now I create adventure videos for fun. Come along with me and enjoy this Whitley Videos adventure. Ground. I think my camera gear is weighing it down. Okay, that was that was all right. Another one of those all right takeoffs. I like that. Yeah. Let's see if we can make a landing where. <laughs> you see that helicopter? Helicopter. Uh, yellow and blue yep. uh, airplane. Did you call uh, passing left? At helo, when he says full stop, he means it. Yeah, wow. we might do a go around. See what he's gonna do here, huh? Yeah, blue super stole is doing a go around. Yeah, that's the first go around of the day or the week. But of the week, yeah. You know what? Sometimes, uh, sometimes you just gotta do that. Well, he wouldn't have been clear. Look at that. He's still. Yeah. Well, that rotor rod and everything. Yep. He's got, he got two slow ones ahead of you here. Yeah. Uh, we're going we're going slower up a little. But that's the nice thing about this. We can just be a lazy boy. Yellow arrow plaque on the 45. So you're going to be driving home instead of flying? Uh, yeah, stuff. Harrison's going to take this airplane back. Yeah. That's a pretty neat little house right Bye there. Back. It's yeah. kind of out of sorts there. Oh, okay. But it's the red one. Oh, but yeah. It's hey, pictures. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It is. And Super Stoles, turn in final. You know, sometimes having two people in here shows good, you know. People yeah. that are really looking are that you're going, hey, he's got two people in here. Like this, you know, the Cub, right. you know, he's solo, and you see what we do. Sure. And, but, of course, when you got passengers, you got, you, you're you not hanging it on the line, you know. Right. You're being a little bit more conservative. But, yeah. Unless you don't like the person who's sitting next to you, then you can... Here, Cam, turning five. Well, you're not right. you're not the prettiest passenger yeah, I've ever had. Gyros, uh, the final but final. with that being said, we're not sticking together either. <laughs> we got plenty of room here. Hi, I'm Dwayne. Made it here. Lifelong project. 16 year restoration. Uh, but we've done it. It's been a lifelong dream. Uh, we started the project in 2002, uh, finished it first flight in June of 2018. Uh, family, two boys, young boys started the project then. All the stuff was done pretty much at the house. Uh, 
and uh, we overhaul the engine on the uh, on the dining room in the formal dining room uh, turned it into a shop we did all the painting uh, in the garage of the house some 222 parts completely disassembled and painted individually uh, and then moved the airplane to the airport in the wee hours of the morning in low traffic only a few miles away but uh, towing it with a tailwheel in the back of a pickup truck. All a lot of interesting stuff, uh, fun stuff, some of it frustrating, some of it not. Um, uh, inside work here, the panel, um, I, wanted to, I wanted to put the panel together so that I could do some, some IFR work, so we've got it IFR certified, uh, and the main goal here now is to work on my CFII. So I've got it set up now that I can get somebody, to, uh, uh, an instructor to ride with an instructor to get my certified flight instructor instrument so I can teach instruments. So we did 95% of the work in here, installing the avionics, uh, the instruments, all the instruments were overhauled uh, to new, except for the fuel gauges. The fuel gauges are, are the original fuel gauges and they work well did have the cinders, new cinders or overhaul cinders put in the tank. Um, so the panel is, is like we like it, um, it's good. The interior was was all done by us, which, and I'm not an interior person, I don't like interior work, but we did all the interior, except sewing the seat covers, uh, didn't do that, had that somebody do that, that, that knows a lot more about that stuff and has a knack for it. Um, but we did, the you can see the uh, air vents system there we that was one of uh, six field approvals that we had to do uh, had to get the FAA to come out and approve some of the things we did to it so we have the NACA scoops on the outside of the airplane uh, and then the air comes in those little nozzles over in the corners of the panel works real well uh, did some work on getting the push to talk switches in the uh, in the control wheels there so that looked like it was original design but it wasn't that's an that's an added thing um, the the instrument panel has little post lamps there at the corner of each instrument you can see for night night flying those are those are red controlled by a switch and a rheostat you can dim or, or brighten them as needed uh, so we had the six field approvals uh, and then there was seven uh, or actually ten STCs that, that was included in the overhaul. One of them being here in the interior is the uh, shoulder harnesses. Install the shoulder harness and what a job, what a job that was working up in there after as afterthought after the uh, headliner went in. Um, so working through some little small holes and stuff to get those up in there. Real job. Guys talk about how, how much of a pain that really is. Um, but we're real happy with the interior. Came out nice. We like it. Get a lot of compliments. Um, real happy with it. Tedious work, but nice work. A lot of help with the instrument panel, the avionics. Good friend of mine, Wes Whitley. Uh, just a lot of teaching and coaching and, and work there that, that he helped me with. Just uh, so grateful for, to, to him for that. Okay, the engine is uh, a Lycoming, obviously, 0320 A2B. Uh, we did the major overhaul, uh, and thanks again to my family, but in particular my wife, because she allowed me to do this overhaul in the uh, formal dining room of our house, uh, along with all the painting, of course, went on in the garage. Uh, but it's uh, 150 horsepower, it's the A2B. Uh, we uh, had the, the cylinders are 10 thousandths over, so it's got a 10 thousandths over pistons in it, uh, but we did it all. We did also three STCs on the engine, uh, and one of those is actually a field approval. We put the uh, BNC alternator, uh, the BNC starter, and a BNC uh, oil filter adapter. Uh, another mod we did on the engine was moving the original oil cooler from underneath the front of the engine to the rear of the cylinders back there uh, for, for looks and cooling. Um, lots of time involved in the, in the overhaul, uh, learning a little bit about it as we go, uh, but we're, we're happy with it and, 
and real thankful for, for the help that was provided from friends and, and again, family. The, this airplane started life out as, as a, a, a tri-pacer, meaning that it had a nose gear. Uh, one of the things I wanted uh, when, I, when, when I built my dream airplane or had my dream airplane was to have a tail dragger. So we did the, we did the conversion from taking the nose wheel off of the front of the airplane and putting a tail wheel on it. It involved a, a lot of a work, structural work, et cetera, to do that. Did most of that work and, uh, and uh, now we have a, a tail dragger. It's a lot of fun to fly. It keeps you on your, keeps you on your toes, li literally. That's a good, I don't know. <laughs> good morning. It's a good Chevrolet man, huh? Here we go. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Your aircraft is an award winner. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, when, when you get there, you'll have a free meal, and then we we'll, may have a little music, but then everybody, you'll be called up to come up and receive a, a trophy. Thank you. Wonderful. What a deal. Well, you earned it. This is a beautiful airplane, great craftsmanship, and good skills and all that. And we like to recognize that kind of thing. Thank you. And uh, we want you to come back again. I will. Okay, what you might have noticed, uh, Dwayne got an award here, and... Uh, Pretty amazing, right? The timing was great too here. So I'll let you see what he got. So he has an award-winning airplane from Sun and Fun. Congratulations, Dwayne. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your friends. As always, I welcome your comments. Until next time, take care. And oh, this is a sage thistle, just in case you wanted to know.